Hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. Look where I am. Up at El Rancho. Oh yeah. We got ourselves, I'm looking for beehives actually. Wasps, nests, to be more specific to those pedantic that like to correct me, they are wasps. Look what I've got. In the back of the almighty Dodge, which ran like a TikTok Swiss watch. If you've been following my Instagram, uh, B Cowboy on Instagram, you'll already know that uh, the sawmill is done and here it sits. Ay, ay, ay. It was uh, quite a journey. I think it took like two and a half hours for Skippy and I to get this in the back of the truck. It's extremely heavy, it's extremely unstable and tippy. Um, even with the saw all the way down, there's the internally regulated GM alternator. So we've got this, don't tell the DOT that we traveled with four 55 gallon drums full of fuel. The two green metal drums are full of uh, low sulfur red dyed fuel. I'm not going to run it in this truck, we're going to run it in the generator that's in there. And then this one's got about um, 25 or 30 gallons of red fuel. It's about half of this 55 gallon drum with the same red fuel. This stuff is good. A friend of a friend had this hanging around because he's got a stationary generator and he went with a different fuel maintenance system than having 55 gallon drums. So this stuff's about two years old and uh, it's clean. The two 55 gallon drums are clean. This one, like I said, is about half. And then this drum here is probably about half and it has uh, waste oil, gasoline, probably a little bit of water. This is kind of a catch oil of, of crap. Um, the stuff that's in this dirty bin is going to be used for drip torches when we burn off meadows or we do um, controlled burns around here. That's what that's for. A couple chairs for the dining room. The Yamasa sawmill. I didn't take any video of loading it in the truck because it was a pretty sketchy operation to begin with and Skippy and I needed our full force and attention given to getting this thing in the back of the truck without hurting ourselves or damaging the truck, which we did, I think, successfully do that. We built this skid out of some old scrap tubifers I had laying around so it would slide on and off in and out of the truck without any problemos. Used a cherry picker, picked up one side at a time, tipped it here, picked it up, slid it in, da da da. We're gonna do that. Oh yeah, check this out. Yeah, adult beverages. Yeah, whatever. Hate on me for drinking, bud. I don't care. Um Yeah, have the all the parts for that. Terra Pro, Yamaha Terra Pro, four-wheeler in there, the cables, headlights, whatnot, whatnot. Got stuff and things in here. There's some more Terra Pro parts in here. Oh yeah, it was a full truck. Skip and I shoved ourselves in here and up we came, but here we are. So this is going to be a couple of videos. The first video will be the Yamaha, the, we'll do a video of the Terra Pro keys for that are on the inside. I haven't even gone in there yet um, to check it out. But these wasps are looking for... Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, I gotta get to painting these eaves in the spring. Uh, so we're gonna pull that trailer out. I don't know if you guys remember, this is the log bed trailer for the Yamasaw. I built this seven or eight years ago. Out of scrap and things. Here it sits. None, nothing here I had to buy. This was all stuff that I acquired that was getting uh, sent off to scrap and I saved it from the scrap heap. Yeah, these tires are good, they still hold air. Those are off a three quarter ton Chevy service truck. I pulled the spindles and everything off it, that one was going to scrap. And then this was an old twisted boat trailer. I don't know if, if I've done, well, if you haven't looked back at the old videos. This, tr this uh, axle, when I towed it up here, 11 or 12, somewhere around there, I tied chains around these spindles just in case they came loose on the highway. I didn't want them going anywhere. They didn't, right? The whole thing did quite fine, but these were my, uh-oh, just in case chains. This axle sits sandwiched in between this, these two big thick 
angle irons. There are two or three, I think there's three, there are three bolts that hold it in. And the thinking was, is you unbolt it, you can lift this up, the axle, you can roll it out of the way, and then you can set this down on the ground if, because um, it'd be easier without the wheels here, right, if you're pushing long stuff, if you want a stationary. And we wanted, yeah, there's three. There's a bolt here. I forget, it's been a number of years. There's a bolt here. And that's right, we had to drill a hole here for the bolt, the center bolt. So the axle can drop out. This can be set down basically on the ground if we wanted to deck it. And set up operation. Let's see if anybody's messed with this. Remember last time this little shed was wide open? But I think that was just hot and cold cycles and wind. I zip tied it closed before I left. Because if they want to get in, somebody's going to get in. Yeah, we're good. It's fine. It's just uh, lawn tractors, push mower. I'm going to go on the path here. i gotta, I got to keep an eye out. It's been a really warm day today. We just got up about an hour ago. Keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. Tis the season. So, yeah, when we pull the saw out, we're going to set it up on here. We're going to look around in the woods and see what logs we have down. Um, the only thing I have left to perfect on here is a system for locking the logs into this bed. I, I haven't done that yet. I just haven't because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. These pipes are round. It would be easier if they were square. But they're not because uh, these are what I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10 or 11 of these. Um, these are parking lot ballards. And um, it was during a regrade, and they pulled these all out, and they were going to—they were had them in a pile, getting off to the scrapper. You can see the uh, reflective stripes on them. They were going off to the scrapper, and I salvaged those. <sighs> yeah, so I got to figure out a way to lock the log into here, but that's not going to stop us for this trip. We're still going to try to make a board or three on this trip, just to prove proof of concept that this thing is just crazy enough to work. mice got into the mud room they went nuts they ate every last piece of bait that I had in here um, so I hope there's a lot of dead mice in here I don't smell anything see I've got bait stations and the bait stations are empty and then I had a box sitting there on top of this is the pressure tank for the well I had a box sitting up here all full of the green the green bait blocks and uh, they're all gone. But I have more in the truck. I did bring some more, but I've been kind of hoarding first strike bait box. Let me get the keys to the garage here. Let's see. Look out, buddy. Yeah. Let's go take a peek and see what we can see. Smells okay in here. Let me set the keys so I don't lose them. I think I need more bikes. I need more bikes. It's a good truck. TerraPro wheels, there's my little buddy, my new buddy, the TerraPro. I brought some stuff and things, some materials to fix this. See if I can get that done on this trip. See if we can get this thing on its wheels, get it out of low gear. See if we can get the reverse function to function. And uh, I think I'm bringing this home with me now that the Yama saw is here. I'm going to bring it home so I can mount the winch. I have a winch around here somewhere that's going to go on the front of this thing. Yep. Everything else looks in pretty good shape. I don't know if anybody got in here and messed around. 
What do we do with the battery for this thing? Oh, there it is right there. The Big Bear. All right. Well, tonight is not an unload night. We're not doing an unload video. It's like, well, tonight. It's like 3.30. And um, Skippy is only functioning on a couple hours of sleep. His work's got him on graveyards right now. So he got off work at like 8 a.m. And I think we hit the road around 9.30. Yeah. And we went in town, got some food and some beer and whatnot. So here we are. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're not dealing with unloading this tonight. I think we're. I think I'm going to start working on putting this Terra Pro back together, and that will be a video. It's cool. It's definitely cool. But the first thing I have to do is get out of my city clothes. I have very few clothes that are not stained. Because I'm the guy that'll be like, oh yeah, let me just fix that, and it. Grease on my pants. Then their work pants because I'm dumb. Hmm. Anyway. That's that. All right, kids. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you stopping in. Be sure to tip your servers on the way out. Gotta go. Gotta run. See ya.